<clears throat> Welcome back to uh, Fallout 3, my friends. Um, I apologize for not in, uh, not updating yesterday. Um, being a grade 10 student in the high school where I live, um, grade 10 is the beginning year of high school. And as such, um, I get like a lot of work piled on me. And it takes a lot out of me, really, every day. Like, I come home and I just want to sleep. Uh, in all honesty, and as such, I do apologize for not updating. However, I am back today. I was thinking for this episode, I was trying to do some research, thinking about what else we should do, or I should do on this walkthrough, and, uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I was looking through the side quests, and there's a lot of them I, well, I, I can think of two off the top of my head that I can't do, because if you think about it, there was that quest to get the uh, to go to Ghoul City, um, get all of the ghouls, to um, get all of the ghouls to overrun Tempany Tower. However, I can't really do that, seeing so I put a grenade, in, a live grenade, in his pocket without him noticing, and let the bitch blow up. So as as such, I cannot do that. Um, another quest that I can't do would have been the. Uh, actually, what I was gonna say, we can't do the Wasteland Survivor Guide because I don't know where the hell she's gonna be at. But the Replicated Man, what the hell is this? You can do a search for clues on the android identity or tell Zimmer he's dead. Find out what Pinkerton at Rivet City knows about the android. Um, so tell me anywhere to go. I don't want. <laughs> I'm lazy. I don't really want to do that quest. Um. Alright, well, <clears throat> anyways, I thought I should just, you know, continue with the story. If this, if I do happen to complete it, and this is an hour long, I will make this an entire episode, just because it'll be a lot easier that way. Uh, anyways, since I'm, near, since I'm kind of near the end of the game, anyways, uh, picking up the trail, I have to go to the Citadel archives, look at a Gek, don't even know what a Gek is, but hey, I'll go there and we'll see what happens. <clears throat> So, how's everyone, uh, what is it now? Thursday? How's everyone's Thursday going? I hope it's going great. Um. Shit, I'm running out of ammo. How much energy cell weapon bobber do I have? I have no shotgun shells, which sucks, because I want to use a shotgun, but. Um. Laser rifle, sure. Anyways, um, yeah, so how's everyone's Thursday going? Mine is going, I'll have to say, exceptionally well. Um, mainly for the fact that I'm home now. I don't have to go to school uh, till tomorrow. And then I have my weekend, two days off. And then summer vacation starts in around 13, 13, maybe 12 days. 12 maybe from now, I think. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully this will all be good. And uh, once summer break starts, I may have a lot easier time uploading these. Because I can't really do these when my mother, well, while my parents are home in general. Because whenever my parents are home, it's just awkward. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I try to do them when I'm home alone, which is generally as soon as I get home. Or it is... Uh... Just the other days, like sometimes on weekends, whenever my parents are out doing whatever. You honor us with your presence here. So, uh, I remember there was someone I was supposed to talk to. Is it you? Hail, outsider. I am Scribe Jameson. Word of your ordeal has spread. I am truly sorry for the loss of your father. But if I can help you in any way, please let me know. I have a brother tag holotag. A brotherhood holotag. You have? Oh, no. This brings to light a sad affair for the Brotherhood, but perhaps it is something that you can assist us Oh god, what I just do? If you have the time, I have an offer for you. Sure, I've got all the time in the world. Uh, 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 sure, I've got all the time in the world. Good. As I'm sure you've noticed, the Brotherhood operates all over the DC ruins, often detached from the main base here at the Citadel. We're short on communication equipment, so many of the groups in the field operate as independent cells, without standing orders. Sometimes, I'm afraid their missions end in their deaths. 
As Keeper of the Scrolls, it's my charge to write of each Fallen Brother's deeds. <clears throat> you can't keep track of your own damn soldiers who run this. Ah, uh, with that radio equipment, you can't keep track of them. Exactly. A brother fallen in the field may have no one to carry word of his death back to me. In calmer times, we could send detachments and messengers to learn their fates. But with our manpower stretched thin, we have no such luxury. I don't really want to do Which this. Which is why I must now ask you for your help. Each brother wears a holotag like the one you found. Should you find any of the fallen brethren in the field, I ask that you return their tags to me, so that I might record their deeds in the scrolls. Oh, maybe that's not so bad. No doubt it's Grave Jameson's report to Elder Lions. Um... What's my reward? We have access to a great deal of technology. And because of that, there are a number of things that we can continue to produce. I will be able to offer you caps for the tags you bring me. But from time to time, I will be able to give you something a bit more interesting. Um... 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 Ah. Um... Yeah. Here. <laughs> Have you? Shit, who's it's calling me? Oh, I'll be right back. Brethren. But their names be, wait, what the hell is my F12? Alright, you're back. Tell me. We're back! I'm so sorry about that. I was called, and that call lasted a lot longer than what it uh, should have. I have two other tags for you. Their names shall be written into the scrolls to be remembered forever. As for you, here is your reward. Use it well and in good health. I got, holy shit, 200 bottle caps and 6 drive experience. Is that it? Um, yes. Sweet. I have to go now. Alright, so what that was all about is some... We had like the dentist call us, well, call me a few minutes ago, and they were talking to me about... Um, some woman entered my phone number as her home phone number. I don't even know where she lives, but I don't know. She's trying to screw us over, I guess. I don't know what the hell is going on anyways. Let's activate this vault deck terminal! Um, I was hoping something interesting would have happened. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Administrative system, records, database, network offline. Please check your local connection. Uh, vault Tech personal assignments. File corruption, deleted, okay, whatever, corruption. Here we are. Vault listing, is Vault 101 here? Project goals, access restricted. Personal assignments, error. Equipment is, blah, 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 file is corrupted. Wow, what the hell is going on? I don't even know what I'm doing. Do I need anything about this one? No. Vault number 66, or 76, blah, blah, blah. Studying construction date February 2065. Ending construction date October of 2069. Total number of occupants 500. Total duration 240 months. Computer control system had brain power 4. And the primary power supply was a light life geothermal. Uh, the secondary power supply was a general atomics nuclear power. Non-standard equipment, none. Personal assignments. Vault 76 is one of our 17 control vaults. It will operate exactly according to plan dictated in the marketing materials produced by Vault Tech and precisely to resident expectations. This vault will be open automatically after a period of 20 years and the residents will be pushed back into the open world for study in comparison to the other experiments. I shouldn't probably talk so fast. Uh, I actually had a guy tell me I want acid or speed or something because I talk fast. It's just a habit. Alright, let's check out Vault 87. What the hell's a gek located at? Gee. Oh, here. <laughs> non standard equipment was the gek, a food processing station, plasma, unexpected end of life data corruption detected. Ah, that doesn't. Oh, that, that doesn't sound too good. Alright, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's turn this thing off. And now I'm going to go to Vault 80 something, was it? Ask Scribe Rothschild for information about Vault 87. Come on, Clover, let's go. I don't need anything, sir. Alright, my game shouldn't uh, freeze, by the way. I think I fixed that. But just in case it does, it's like certain times it minimizes, it just kind of shuts off me. I don't know what the hell happens. But it doesn't matter. We've gone through a lot of episodes, haven't we? Look at the blood. The glitching shadows. By the way, um... 
like I was mentioning, the next game that I'm going to be recording, I was possibly thinking that I'm going to record all the episodes in HD. However, the only problem with that would be that it would take me a hell of a lot longer. I uploaded that Minecraft one, and it was, uh, I think it was like two minutes in 1080p HD, and it took me an hour and a half to upload. Just saying. Alright, uh, I'd like to know more about the Blood of Steel. What do you know about the Enclave? More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. Matters not now, as before, they seek to control and destroy, all in the guise of restoring order. Your father, I fear, was just beginning. Alright, you're clearly not the person I was supposed to talk to. Still be with you, sure. Oh, fuck, you're the one I was talking to. You need something else now. Possibly I do. Vault 87 is a gag, but I don't know where it is. Ah, well, that much I believe I can help you. Step over here for a moment. I'll show you where it is. Alright, show me where it's... Does he have a map on his wall, or... Don't walk into my hooker? Alright. Wait, I gotta talk Bottle to you for a minute. For your Bottle cap. Okay, let's... Talk about your tactics. What are you thinking, lover? I'm thinking... I want you to change your combat style. What would you like? I think you'll find I'm quite flexible. That sounds kinky. Uh... Not bad with a range... Uh, yes. Yeah, keep up the range Anything weapons. Anything for you, lover. Alright, that's... That's all. Let's get going. Uh Alrighty, that's... She's one dirty hooker. Well, at least we're gonna end the... You know. This might, uh... This might be a bit of a recording session. I might actually upload this all as one thing. Is this a big map that I'm supposed to go see? Ah, uh, it looks... That looks like the one that's on my, uh... Looks like the one that's on my thingamajig. Uh, Pip Boy. Can you still see it from this armor? Or with this armor? At least you can. Shows the locations of all known vaults in the local area. Vault 87 has been highlighted for you. There. Entrance to Vault 87 will be particularly difficult for you, I'm uh -oh. Why? What's difficult about it? The area is highly irradiated. Lethal levels are all around the entrance. Gaining direct access will be quite impossible. How do I get to the radiation? Quite simply, you don't. To attempt such a thing would be certain death for you. This could be another way. You share your father's determination, it seems. And in this case, you are correct. There may well be another way. Vault 87 is located very close to the site of Lamplight Caverns. It is entirely probable that the vault may be entered from within the caves. Um... Well, I guess it's time to find out, I'll go there by the myself. The simply cannot spare the resources necessary to investigate the area. Perhaps you may be more successful. If you do find anything, please return here so that we may decide how best to proceed. Thanks for your help. I wish we could do more, but the Brotherhood potentially faces a very pressing, very real threat in the Enclave. All of my efforts must now be devoted to assessing the threat they may pose to us. I'm sure you understand. Yes, yes, of course I understand. Alright, so what we gotta do? We gotta search Lamplight Caverns for way into Vault 87, and I'm hoping that it's there on my world map. Well, okay, that looks to be the way. I don't think, I think that this might take me more than an hour. Hail, hail to you, my friend. That is good to hear. Alright, does this way out? That's the armory. What's in the armory? Plasma rifle. Is that wrong that I just picked it up? What what ammo does plasma rifle take? This is 14 and takes MF cells and then this is 25. They're both MF cells. No, they're not. This is an MF cell. This is an MF. How can I have more ammo on this? Oh, it's less ammo in a clip. All right, so this is 25 damage. This is 14. All right, let's get rid of the laser rifle. Was his name Parody? Oh, Peabody. It's an awkward name. It's in this door. What the hell's in there? It doesn't matter. 
I let's let's go inside of here. This is a weird gun. Oh well. Hey. Alright, so Um I'm hoping that we can all make this very interesting or that I can at least make this episode interesting for you guys and hopefully you guys will enjoy it. If you guys not to say it now, if if it's an hour long and you guys don't like that, um please tell me in the comment section. Um I guess below. However, I have to note Oh Christ, where am I at? Uh, how do I get up from here? I'll find it. I have to uh, add, if you don't really like the hour-long session and want to stay here for an hour, I mean, feel free to watch, you know, for 15 minutes or whatever, then pause the video, and then, um, you know, then come back, and, uh, you know, watch for 15 minutes, come back, then watch another 15 minutes and come back. Like, that's all you get, like... If that makes any sense, you don't have to watch it all in one session by all means. I mean, it's here for your entertainment. I'm hoping these are all... Um, I'm hoping these episodes work in your favor. If you know what I mean? Because quite frankly, I'm doing this for you guys. Well, I'm doing it for everyone. I just, uh, I just really... Yeah, I want this to be a good thing. Something we can all enjoy. And... Like, I don't want this to become something that I don't enjoy. So, that's why I was going to, uh... Yeah, we're almost done. This entire, um... This entire thing. Like, we're almost done in Fallout 3 for... Which is really weird. I've never once been this far in the game. I've always been way too afraid to. However, for whatever reason, being on camera, and although I'm alone and terrified, being... I guess on camera, you know, what, like, getting to do this with multiple people, well, what, I, what feels like multiple people, it's a really uh, enticing experience, I suppose you could say, and it makes me feel like I'm actually doing something, okay, let's get the fuck out of me, where'd it go? <laughs> Sounds weird. Alright, well, let's continue pressing forward without any more interruptions. So, anyways, I see many. I see enemies. The robot? Is this like semi automatic? Kind of. I wonder what happens if she were to die. Did the other guy be pissed off at me since he, she is his daughter? Oh, well, what's in here? I feel like there's something I'm gonna have to get in here. A lot of trucks. It's a USA truck. United States of America. Lots of ammo in here, too. I don't need flammer fuel. What's in these metal boxes? Nothing, nothing. Literally nothing. Laser rifle. Microfusion cells. Microfusion cells. Microfusion cells. Nothing else. Alright. I'll wait now, we're sure. Alright, we're good. Who are these guys? All the mirror casts already. I can leave them be, I suppose. All right, so um, this might even take me. This might be a bit more than an hour. It might be like an hour and a half. Anyways, I'll stop thinking about it. I'll just do it as I do it, and uh, hopefully this all will work out. So, I have a glass of Diet Pepsi beside me. I have a turtle beach over my head. I'm hoping these sound levels sound alright, and I'm not too loud. I do notice that in some of my recordings, my voice is a bit too loud. And for that, I do apologize. I'm hoping that, you know, you guys can just turn down the volume, still hear me, and still hear the game, at least a little bit. And I'm pretty sure I fixed the sound volume, sound levels. Alright, where's he at? You're there. You're right. You're dead. Alright. Is that scorpion that's alive? No. Nowhere. <laughs> I don't think. Anyways. Nope, somewhere. Anywho. So yeah. I don't even I lie, I don't even know where I was at, my train of thought. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Lamp light caves, it sounds really familiar to me. Why does it sound so familiar to me? Who is near me? Your scorpion? Ow. I'm poisoned, aren't I? I think I am. Ow. 
I'm really liking having Clover with me. Alright. Could put his head from this distance. That is a champion move right there. Watch and learn, my friends. Anyways. So we're, um... What do you guys think about this whole Let's Play? I mean, I've managed 50 episodes, which... I've made a playlist of all the episodes in a row, kind of, to my ability. And I had, like, a shit ton of... Holy crap. I had, um... Shit ton of episodes... Or, shit ton of hours. It's like 12 hours or something that this walkthrough lasted me. Which, 12 hours on a video game, for me, is incredible. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I mean, I would have never gotten this far... For whatever reason, playing games by myself, it just is not enjoyable, kind of. But whenever I'm recording on the, uh, you know, recording with Fraps, I'm using my Shadow Beach to talk, and it makes me feel like I'm not really alone. Like, I feel like I'm with someone, and it's a lot more fun, if you guys can understand that. Oh, look, I just saved two Brahmin. Are they going to join me now? <laughs> Anyways, wait, can I get milk from these Brahmin? <laughs> Ew, their udders are disgusting. He has a nail board, he has a nail board. All right, so they were, they were going to club that uh, thing. Anywho, Lamplight Cavern. What the, is, isn't that in place from Skyrim? I think that it is. And my laptop is getting fucking hot right now, but my fan's right on it. And nobody has texted me. I haven't called. That doesn't count. Is this where Lamplight Cavern is? I'm gonna guess, since the lamps, oh, lamp lights. However, it's what they deserted. I think. Don't let me jinx that I just said that. Anyways, so, um. Hmm. These people clearly up and left. Ammunition. Ammunition, and even more ammunition. Alrighty. Oh, I I found the caves. <clears throat> and while this loads, I'm going to take a sip of my diet Pepsi. Alright, this is a scary place to me. I have that feeling something is. I can't about any of my weapons? Or do I even have it equipped? What the hell is going on? Can't pull out any weapons down here? Does she? Yeah, she doesn't have anything out either. Hold it right there, mister. Oh, that would explain something. Mayor we'll McCready. We'll Sweet child actors dropping the F-bomb. Whoa, hold on there, I'm a friend. You're big. I don't have any big friends. You better just go out the way you came in. Man, I don't want to shoot him in the head. Uh, I really need to get to Vault 87. Do you know the way? You don't want to go there. That's where the monsters are. Ooh. We got pretty good at keeping them out. Probably better than you could do. I'll go right in there. Monsters? What monsters? The big ones. You know, the ones that sort of look like people, except they're all wrong. I think he's talking about mutants. So you know the way to get there? Yeah, I do. But it's through Little Lamplight, and you're not getting into Little Lamplight. Guess you better find some other way, Mungo. Can I come in? Hell no! Allowed. Oh, come on, I'm a nice guy, really. May I please come in? You must think I'm stupid or something. I'm not falling for any of your tricks. What's a Mungo? You are Mungo. You big people. You're all tall and clumsy. Bunch of Mungos, and we don't need nothing to do with any of you. How can I get you to trust me? Why should I trust you? I got no reason to. You Mungos are nothing but trouble. I ain't gonna let what happened to Sammy and Squirrel happen to anyone else. Oh, what happened to Sam and Squirrel? Ben and Penny got themselves caught by Mungos, just like you. Slavers from Paradise Falls. I told them to watch out. Stupid kids didn't listen. What if I got? To, what if I go help? Go and help Sam and others? Then will you trust me? You do that? Maybe. You can bring them back. Um. Might let you in. Rescue from Paradise. Yeah, that's Alright. So. Huh. I can't get in. 
Unless I go to Paradise Falls. What's inside of it? Can I jump over this? Okay, I can't whip out my gun either. Alright. Wait, is this a Mungo? Oh, lovely. Alright, so I'm gonna have to go rescue slavers from Paradise Falls. I wonder if I can just kill them. Let's just go there and see what happens. I mean, we've already found this location. We can always come right back here to Lamp Lake. Okay, what's our new quest? Picking up the trail. We go rescue from Paradise. World map. Paradise Falls. Yes. Nikola Tesla and you. Who was Nikola Tesla? I feel like he's an important man in history. Maybe I'm just full of something. Anywho, we go back to Paradise Falls where we... I like this where we started, isn't it? Alrighty. Jump over here and... Over right here. It's not the way in. This is the entrance. At least I can pull out my gun again. Alright. Paradise Falls. Trigger bombs. Breakfast cereal. Alright, so... Little piece. Store your piece. Find and speak with the kidnapped lamplighters. Alright, they'll be way over here, I'm guessing. Alright. <clears throat> I'm guessing these guys are just gonna be idiots and. Well, I guess they're in the slave pens. Alright, we can open you and close you on my way in. Alrighty. <laughs> 